pretty sad when you can't see. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this today, but it ought to be interesting. All right, it says that's up. Says that's up. Says we're running. Got no dropped frames yet. My voice is working. Hmm. Cool. Wait, well, I gotta really change that. Hi there. Camino Tyler, how are you? Hi there. How are you today? Good morning, Madonna. Welcome to my live stream. Please sit back, enjoy, and relax the chat. Thank you. I try. Of course, now I have to. Now that I say that, I have to walk away for a minute because I sort of kind of forgot to rinse my bowl. And we're painting on this, and I don't think that this paint will work very well. I'll be right back. Sit right there. can't hear y'all chat so give me one second I can't read chat because I can't see it the Miss Yo-Yo show hey how are you hello hello I did send you an Instagram not sure really what to do but I sent you an Instagram Uh, this is um, fiber backed board so I've never used this product so this is going to be very new to me and I'm not sure what's going to happen so let's give Let's see what happens this morning. But good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's well. I have two inches of snow this morning. What a great thing to wake up to. Let's put a little water, and I have a feeling those spots are probably going to just. Mighty dip some paint. I don't know. Never used it, like I said. So we will see what happens. What's the worst case that happens? We have to uh, paint for two days with this one piece. Oh, what a shame. Huh? Put that in the groove. Put 
that in a groove thing and just have it sit there and relax and take a break and put its feet up. Hopefully this stuff doesn't dry as fast as I think it's going to. I probably should have used some glycerin or something, but we will see. Thank you, sir. Got some snow this morning, now, Billy. That's for sure. It was kind of inevitable. Yeah, I don't live in Vermont and expect it not to snow. This isn't going to show up very great for a little bit, but. Everybody's had a had a safe weekend. You didn't eat all your kids' candy. I may or may not have indulged in a bit of candy. So, maybe. Boy, this thing eats. Sure does. I had to switch to orange now because of hunting season. You know, we have requirements up here. Let's grab the big mop brush, otherwise known as makeup brush. And let's put a little white on it. Let's go ahead and make all this stuff something. Oh, it is. Hey Dre, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's very nice to see you, Dre. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Notice I said Thanksgiving and not Halloween. Because let's face it, we're talking serious snacks going on. So, you know, it's like Thanksgiving for us snack people. Halloween for kids, but Thanksgiving for those of us who love candy. I mean, come on. Candy. Oh, I think this is... I think this just came out with what it's going to be. Hey Shane, how are you? I can see it. I can see it already. It's just decided where it wants to be and what it wants to be. Yep. Hi there. Oh, 
Uh, I'm getting better. Um, heart is feeling better now. A little bit better. Uh, pretty worried there for a few days, but. It's my own fault. Can't expect it to be like. Thank you. Suzanne. Hi, Aurora. Sorry if I missed you. Sorry, it takes me a minute to I have to actually wash that. Huh, <laughs> snowplow. That's how much snow I have. That was a state plow truck that just went by. Can't always tell when it starts getting a little, little bit. A little bit heavier here. That's not really a, not really oh it kinda looks like a bat, but that's not really what I was looking for. We're not doing dark and bats here. Well, I guess it is gonna be dark, but I need a little finer touch. Uh, some fine little dark shadow trees in here. Nothing, nothing too spectacular. We don't want it to be too overwhelming with the amount of little trees back here, but we want to show some forest, you know. Short ones and long, tall ones. Thank you, it was by accident. No. <laughs> I've never painted with this material. Uh, I've never painted with this material before. And so uh, it was given to me by my sister-in-law. So I said, well, she thought maybe I could use it for a backer on some of my artwork. but." It's actually got a foam core with bonded um, paper on it. Well, you know me. Give me a product and I'm going to see if I can actually make that particular product do its thing instead of adding to it. So, this one's kind of similar to the one I painted the other day with the mountain, but... You know, we're going to kind of change it up a little bit with the colors. I know I'm painting a lot of the same type of stuff, but you know, a little bit of artist block, but... Um, not, I guess it's not so much artist block, it's just feeling like I'm kind of not painting what I think people want to see. You know, so. I was told just to paint what I want to paint.
39 would have been a warm day. I think it was 22 this morning here. This early this morning when I took out the dog, it was something like that. Do this in little stages just to see if I'm happy with the way it looks. Yeah, I think I am. I think I am. I think that's going to come out looking all right. And we'll do something over there so it that's going to be a wild looking picture. I think. Let's grab some. Conacodome magenta. I know it's magenta, but it's got some fancy name. I'm actually sweating. I have my heater on behind me. It's, it's kind of excessively long. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. That's kind of how I've been painting is uh, painting what I feel and sometimes when I do that my wife tells me actually all the time that when I paint how I feel what's in my head stuff hits the canvas a lot different stuff ends up on a canvas very different looking when I paint what's in my head. Kind of a scary place actually, I think. Thank you. Michelle, did you read your comments, uh, your live chat after your live? Go back and reread it. Oh, easy. You just add color to it. See? You thought that was going to affect me, didn't you? I can honestly say that's probably one thing that's not in my head. Is there. As much as I would like it to be sometimes. I was watching Miss Yo-Yo yesterday. She had people watch a video and pay attention she was gonna do a little quiz afterwards and I was making comments about this guy's shoes not matching his coat and the question she asked was what color were his, sho his shoes and I already commented about the shoes I mean come on the guy was wearing a navy blue coat he had on these royal blue shoes I mean those two colors just do not go together I'm sorry I'm not some fashionista but you wear a nice black shoe or a brown shoe or something with it not a color that's going to clash with your clothing plus he had on a blue shirt I think too and off that white blue it disturbed me It bugged me enough that I made a comment about it.
Needless to say, I got the question right. I like watching this show, yeah. She's funny as heck. But that's, you know, I wish I could do that because she's funny, but yet she's still teaching you something and you're not really noticing she's doing it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's, this color right here is going to be just a tiny bit darker. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it. We're not sure what we're going to do here. Got to have that just a little bit mixed in. Grab just a touch of white. What do you figure? Something in right in here. Oops, I didn't get enough paint on that one. Gotta remember to get my paint farther up here. So when I just do the edge, you get that edge first, then you push down a little bit and you can get that a little bit of a little bit of a wave. Just a tiny bit. I mean, it's kind of a cheap way to do a wave, but... I like the way it looks, so... Let's see if we get this part. Been a while. Let's try. Need a little bit more white. And we're going to change up the background right here just a little bit. 
try to get a little bit more wrong brush let's grab a different brush let's grab let's grab the little brush try to get this done get the top just a little bit just a little fuzz on the top before the wave breaks the top you know maybe a little bit come down this way a few spots don't do it all the way across because that looks kind of strange when you do that but pick a spot you can see where it's kind of screaming for you to do it like right here it says I have a lot of foam right here. Just because of the way I ended up painting that. So we know that that's going to do a nice dip. Where you come down in. You know, don't put a lot of water on it. Make sure your paint's kind of dry. And this is just my wave. This is how I do a wave quickly. That uh, I think looks okay. It's kind of a little bit of taking it from a few other artists. Kind of mixing up my own thing. But I like how they come out. this way and you can just go ahead and add just a little bit back here not too much turn the brush a little bit kind of turn the direction you can kind of follow what your brush is doing just so we can break up that just a little bit well, add just a little bit right here Kind of how you know, everything's going around right now. It's kind of how my head feels, you know, kind of just overwhelming amount of turmoil. You know, fighting being sick and reactions to. stuff I just didn't expect to be knocked out just about by just starting a diet wasn't quite ready for that one now let's just put a little bit of something right in here thinking that looks cool don't you I think it looks all right I don't know if, yeah, I think I'm still painting. Yeah, yeah I'm still here. So everybody's really quiet. Am I still here? Did I? Okay. I 
Thank you, Dre. I thought I was alone. Got that there. Yeah, thank you. I think we're gonna add just a little bit of mist in the background over there. We're gonna have to use a different um, mop brush a little bit of a smaller one. Let's use this one. It's more of a flat, but it's kind of a, a, a fluffy flat. Thank you. And we'll add just a little white right here. And we'll give a touch of water. Just a tiny bit on my brush so I can... It's got to wipe it all off now, but the bristles, I want them to be wet. Because I'm going to kind of take the white I put in there. I might even need a little bit more white because this, I mean, a little more wet because this stuff just is inhaling the water, the moisture. Might even require two brushes. I'm not sure. We'll see. This way, just a little bit. We'll kind of we'll kind of spread the fog. a little bit right here a little, you know a little heavier white spot I could have used a little thicker brush but but it took me a few less little circles I'm just barely touching this I'm actually not pushing very hard that's why it's not moving around so much Now we'll put about six hairs of paint on my brush here. And we'll go ahead and kind of In case you're wondering, I have, uh, I have water on my head, so uh, that's where um, you see me touching my hand. It's that's how I'm getting a little bit of water off my brush without actually putting it in my water bowl. Yeah, we might have to switch up brushes because this one might be a little bit wet. Uh, maybe, we'll see. We'll see. No, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Let's grab a little bit down here. Maybe right in here where the wave is we can pull a little bit of that white in there maybe pull a little bit of the white out of here kind of give it that foggy look in the background yeah that's kind of cool I like that so we could actually just play with all this and kind of either think that's just a really strange colored 
That could be like a... Hmm. Okay, this is what's in my head right now. There's a giant volcano back here. Alright, this is actually a lava wave coming. You know, splashing. Kind of like a... Like in a Star Wars type thing where it's kind of just coming at you. That's why all this is this color. See, that's, that's, see, you guys wonder where my head goes. I'm telling you, it's not in a safe place sometimes. <laughs> it goes in a, it goes out in left field occasionally. I don't know if I should add trees back there. Oh, you know, it would be cool though. I don't know if I can produce one, but I can give it a shot. Let's try this. Alright, I may mess this up. Better take a picture of it first. Let me take a picture of this first because I'm going to have to unchat you guys on my phone for a minute. Normally I would do this another time, but you know, let's glow, go, let's glow with the flow. Yeah, look at that, glow with the flow. Yeah. See if we can really go a little on the strange side. I can always make this go away if I don't like it.
if these are working or not. tell how I'm feeling about this I guess I don't know yet Take uh, a small, a small, very small, not super tiny, but pretty small. Time. <laughs> That's why I wear a glove. One hand. too much did I ruin the painting except for locations a little off with one of them but this one should have been uh, back here and that one should have been back there but that's okay Stepped on my own cord.
Yeah, I think we'll, we like the ghost ship just that way. Chances are there was some ground back here and it's, see it's gone down. So, it, it ran a ground, but that's where it ended up. I mean, we could have done, I might even come back when this is dried up a little bit. And we'll turn these into mountains back here a little bit. Kind of like this over here. So that looks like it's smashed into the cove. And yeah, maybe my waves are a bit backwards, but let's assume that the water's coming. Like, whew. this is just another coast on this side. It's a big inlet. And over this way is right about here is where the ocean. So yeah, see that's how I have to think because I have to, when I paint stuff my brain kind of just goes off into these la la lands and sometimes it gets kind of confusing. Not going to be a very long one today because well, to be honest I have to shovel. I have that much snow. Um, I might actually have to snow blow my driveway in order to get out to go to the store. But I like this board. I like how it works. I mean, it's just a... It's just a fiber board. It's, it's a foam board with a, a paper cover. And I, I like how it works, how it feels. So I'm going to have to paint. I have a white one also, but um, I have three of these black ones. And I like the reaction that the colors have with the black underlay. I, I think it gives you a little bit more shadow when you paint on it. Because it does suck up the paint in spots. And you can see that it's already softening right here where it was really super bright a few minutes ago. It's already sucking up some of the paint. So I don't even know what color this is going to be when it's dry. Um, it may just get spookier and spookier. And that would be cool. But I think I'm going to call it. I know my videos aren't very short. And I know I did not paint yesterday. And for that I am sorry. But. Um, I guess I want to feel better first. Before I. Sit for two or three hours and paint. I'd hate to be painting. And you know. All of a sudden start like I'm going to be. That looks crooked to me. Yeah, why does that look crooked? No. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, that's a terrible OCD thing. It's it's horrendous. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, I do appreciate everybody for swapping by. Um, did the video and the sound look okay today? Or seem okay today? I hope. Thank you, Madonna. Did it buffer at all? I haven't been able to turn my head to watch at all. Thank you, Shane. I know they're kind of simplistic and basic, but... Cool. 
And see how easy the waves are? Don't have to get complicated. They look like waves to me. Shane, take care of yourself, please. Madonna, please be safe. And thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Miss Yo Yosho, thank you for swinging through Aurora. Caroline Hillbilly. Camille, thank you. Dre CEO, thank you for swinging through. I really appreciate it. Please say hi. To Aisha for me. I do miss talking to her. And I will see you all again soon. And as always, enjoy life. You never know. See ya.